Now, Ebro, uh, you know, he's been in the headlines lately. Uh, he's saying that, you know, major labels are not interested in even signing hip hop acts no more. They're trying to sign Afro beats and Latin artists. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I wouldn't know. I would say this though. Ebro's a, a, a old head. <laughs> he's a hater. He's a hater, man. Every time I watch an interview with this guy, it just seems like he's just doing things for clout. But he could be right though. But I don't think he is. I, I can kind of, and me personally, I'm not a big, big fan of Ebro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I would have to say I can see where he's coming from and why he said that. Because the new generation of the music, for one, there's there's no meaning to it. No, Two, nah, it's not. The music is more is more violent than ever. We got it's more crazy. Yeah, the, the, you got to think how many tracks that we heard and and us as blogs, how many tracks that do we do we hear where it's about an op smoking on the op pack? Smoking like it. it's disgusting at this point. You you know what I mean? So I yeah. would have to say why well, I could I could see that that why because for one. We know we know what group of people run these major labels, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't look like us. Mm -mm. They're going to invest in something where they can take their kids to go see, right? You know what I mean? For for in and for example, right? It's like who the, who are they going to want to take their own children to see? Are they going to want to take their children to go see to see Drake? Or they gonna take some, you know, or Quando Rondo, and, and not comparison, yeah. but I'm saying, right? Yeah, the, the music saying. is not, it's not as friendly. It's not commercial. It's not commercial. Mm -mm. The music is really not. It's really not appropriate for kids. And I know our music wasn't not really appropriate for kids too. But we had, we had, we had hip hop artists was able to perform on all that. You know what I'm saying? They was able to perform on TRL and 106 in part. You know what I'm saying? Now, that music, these people don't want it. Yeah. You know, so I would have to say, I would have to say, I'll agree. I don't know. It's like hip hop is always going to be hip hop. It evolves over time. You know, right now we're at the point where they're going to give you some raw shit that you're not familiar with, you're not comfortable with. But that's what, that's what hip hop is now. You know what I mean? It's, it's a newer generation. They're more, uh, crazier. But you also gotta understand, we were raised. These new artists were raised on Gucci Man. Mm. They were raised on Chief Keef. Mm. Some of them, some of them were raised. These guys been doing that shit. So this is what you get. This is your product. You, you know, you raise these kids like this. So they took what they heard and they just added their own shit to it, and now it's more raw. And, and and hip hop's always gonna be hip hop. It's gonna be evolving. Label labels are still gonna sign. You know that's where the money's at. Uh, it is expanding. The, the the sound is changing. But I I don't believe that labels are still gonna sign rappers. They're still gonna sign whoever's popping at the time. If they can make money off that person, they're gonna sign them. They don't give a fuck who it is. But and this is where I would disagree. Now, some of these labels, they're not gonna want to invest no money in some of these dudes because. They're living like that. This bro, if you die, if you're King Von, for example, King Von dies, bro, streaming services going up. Everything is going up. Merchandise up. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't matter anymore. I mean, they don't care. if, Like I said, if they can make money off you, they're going to make money off you. You know what I mean? They, it, it's just That's just how it is. It's sad. It's crazy. But if they can make money off you, they make money off you. So you don't think that Hip hop is 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 dying. It is dying because it's not original no more. Everything sounds the same. But and then it's crazy because I was thinking about this too. You know, even when a rapper tries to dive into some new shit and new sounds, they be like, "Who the fuck? Like this person's falling off." And people are not used to that. Not used to different sounds. You know what I mean? And it's also us as when we listen to this music, we're just so used. We don't want to expand our sound. We're so used to like one sound. Some people don't even listen to country. Some people don't even listen to rock. All they know is hip hop. And you know I mean? then a lot of artists too, they're a risk on booking shows because now you, you got to worry about certain venues. If the people that they got beef with is going to pull up, 
Yeah. You you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You see, promoters aren't even promoters aren't even taking a chance on Kondo after that situation. Nah, I you, mean, you, I wouldn't either. You you know, so I, I feel like that's why I said I, I would have to agree with, with Ebro. Mm -hmm. And it's just that hip hop we has came to a point where so, a, a lot of it has become not interesting. You know what I mean? Exactly. And they, they're looking for something new. So you see somebody like a burner boy who's blowing up the Afro beat. Afro beats is, is, is killing it right now. I don't know if you've been paying attention. But, I haven't. And, and then you got to look at Ozuna, yeah. Bad Bunny. I mean, Arcangel, like, you know, even the, the old head reggaeton artist, Daddy Yankee and Don Omar, like them dudes, they making crazy, making racks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they're making racks. So I could kind of, I could see wh why he went into that. I can, I, I could see why he said that, man. Yeah. That was crazy.